Hey guys, I want to show you what you get with the Bateria Power MPPT solar charge controller. I've already opened this once, so it was wrapped in plastic, but pretty much this is the way it comes. You get your charge controller. You get two SAE connectors that you can uh, uh, kind of fabricate yourself there. Your wires are stripped on the end. And then you get a polarity um, reducer or converter, whatever you want to call that. But that'll help you reverse the polarity if uh, your SAE connectors don't line up correctly. You get a user's manual. And you also get a uh, card here that shows you how to download the app from the app store you can just scan it on your phone it'll take you right to it and it's the charge pro 2.0 app and it walks you through that also for android devices on google play and this is a 10 amp charge controller just gonna open the user's manual up here and once you take a look at it, you can take a picture of it if you want to, but it will do GeoAGM LifePo and max solar input is uh, no more than 30 volts open circuit. Uh, it has a 10 amp rating, no more than 150 watts of solar that you can put into it. So what's nice about this charge controller is it's an inline charge controller. So, you can come straight for the solar panel on this end, straight to the battery on that end. And I'm um, going to hook it up. We have a solar panel out here, and we're going to let you see how it works. Okay, so you got the uh, battery in first, and you want to always hook the battery side up first. It'll start to give you the, the display, and on my particular setup here, I'm just charging a LifePo uh, battery, a 12-volt battery, and I had to use the uh, polarity re uh, reverser there. Um, and you can see that way my red wire, let's see if I can show this better to you, this red wire here lines up with this red wire over here. So you want your reds and reds and your blacks and blacks to line up. So in order to make that happen, I had to use this little adapter now on the other side like the same thing this is your solar panel you want to hook this up second i did have to use the reverser again there as you can see my red wire is on this side so we want to make sure that those line up as well and then uh, once you get it hooked up it's going to give you a readout just a generic of the voltage and how many amps you're drawing from the solar panel you can see it's fluctuating there. And then it has a little bit of a indicator. 25, 50, 75, and 100 for your uh, percentage of battery. And then you have your gel AGM LifePo there. If you want to change the setting, you just press and hold. It'll start flashing and then you can cycle through all the batteries. And once you're on the one you want, just press and hold again and it sets it on LifePo. So there you can see we're getting 13.4 uh, volts, 6.7 amps off of our 100 watt solar panel. So let's pull the app up and we're going to connect. You can see here it's the Charge Pro. Connect to that and then we'll get our information as far as how many watts we're getting, voltage from the solar panel, so right there is giving us our battery voltage. We're at uh, 16. 15 is fluctuating there on uh, um, how much solar input we're getting. And then our current battery current, which it's charging at. The voltage it's charging at. Or excuse me, the voltage that the, the battery is currently at. So it's going to be a little bit higher. And then you have your wattage over here. So we're drawing about 89 watts off this, or 90, it's, it's fluctuating a little bit. So 
that's how the app works it's pretty simple and it gives you some other stats down there that you can look at we won't go in detail in there but the the main information is is you want to see how much voltage you're getting from the solar panel because you don't want to go over 30 so we're at you know well under that um, your amperage this is a 10 amp charge controller and then we're getting you know well under that and then we're charging the battery at 13.6 volts and we're getting 90 um, watts of power into this battery okay so there's how this thing works I mean there's not a whole lot to it and this thing's very simple to use it kind of goes into a sleep mode you just press the uh, set set an enter button and it'll tell you again the voltage and the amperage that's coming in um, that's charging the battery and when the battery's charged that light will stop blinking we're going to let this sit here you notice it's cycling a little bit um, here and there but uh, a lot of power stations do that as well but this is a pretty nice little little um, charge controller it's going to be this is going to be a very short video and we'll close it out and talk about what we like and dislike about it all right let's wrap this video up we'll talk about our likes and dislikes let's start with our likes uh, first of all uh, this is very portable I mean you could literally put this thing in your pocket um, it's compact and it's in line that's what I do like about it where you can go just straight in line you know from your solar panel um, to your battery I apologize for these chickens out here um, and you can take it anywhere it's a 10 amp charge controller I think they may make uh, some bigger ones but this one is around $35 on Amazon um, I'll put a link down in the description below. Um, they did send this to me, but I'm not affiliated with them or anything like that. They just asked me if I wanted to try it, and I said uh, sure because uh, I like these little uh, portable MP MPPT charge controllers that you can take camping, you know, throw in your car if you're traveling, and uh, it just makes makes things easy. Now, what are the things that I don't like about it? I don't like the SAE connectors. I'm not a big fan of those because you got to have those uh, polarity re reversers. And they're easy to connect. It's not that. It's just it's not the most, you know, MC4 is the most common. I would even have preferred a uh, Anderson on the end of those because you can go from Anderson to just about, you know, MC4, you know, pretty easy. And like on my battery here, I've got, you know, an Anderson that I could have just plugged it right in there instead of having to have an Anderson to an SAE to a polarity reverser back to, you know, this SAE connector. So that's one of the dislikes. Other than that, I think it's a good little unit uh, for the price. You can't really beat it for an MPPT charge controller. Um, like I say, don't quote me exactly, but I'll put a link. It's like $34, $35. Um, on Amazon and and I'll put that link in the description below so this is going to be a very short video and I appreciate your guys' viewership um, let me know what you think about this thing um, leave comments down in the uh, down below like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already like the video and I um, hope you have a blessed day and we'll see you in the next video